summer is just about here, and that means it's time for summer at your library. This year, we're keeping our eyes open for cryptids throughout and around our libraries. Will you find Sasquatch in the picture books? The Loch Ness Monster in the book return? Or maybe even a chupacabra looking for lunch in the park? You'll have to join us to find out. And this year's Summer at Your Library challenge is simple, just four steps. Register for the program, track your activities, complete the challenges, and earn a prize. Let's talk a bit more about these steps. Step one is the easiest. You've just got to sign up for Summer at Your Library. You can do this online at fbrl.org, or you can come into your community library starting June 15th. And this year, all kids and teens who register get to pick out a book to keep just for signing up. So make sure you register early so you have the best selection. Once you've signed up, step two is to figure out how you're gonna track your summer activities, either online or on paper. Have you done a challenge with the library before or would you rather use your phone or computer? Then tracking through our Beanstack program might be right for you. You can sign up or sign into an account you've already set up on our website or download the Beanstack app right to a smartphone. Tracking is simple and when you finish the challenges, you're automatically entered for the grand prize drawings. Do you love being able to cross off a day or write down what you've been doing? Would you like an extra challenge or some ideas for things to do this summer? Well, then our paper log would be a great choice. Pick up a paper log at any of our branches or download it from our website. You can track all of the challenges on here and even get an extra grand prize entry for completing one of the bingos. Bingo isn't required, but it can get you closer to the grand prize gift cards and may just get you to try something new this summer. And last but certainly not least, if you can't get your hands on a paper log or track on Beanstack, that's okay. This is where you get a chance to DIY your own log. Scratch paper or calendars work great, and you can make it as simple or creative as you like. All you need to do is keep a tally of the days that you've read and what you've learned, created, and explored this summer. So once you've signed up, and you know how you're going to track your activities, step three is where you'll actually get to complete the challenges. And we have four of them this summer. The first challenge is to create one thing. That means try a new recipe and cook dinner for your family, write a letter to a loved one you haven't seen in a while, maybe try your hand at drawing or painting or something else entirely. And school may be out, but our second challenge for you this summer is to learn at least one new thing. This doesn't mean cracking a textbook, but instead could be trying a new game, learning how to say hello in another language, or even listening to a podcast. Or do you plan to attend a library program? I bet you learned something amazing there. The next challenge is to explore something in your world. So take a walk around the block, Check out a new park or go on a grand adventure. The goal is just to get out there and see and experience something this summer. And our final challenge of the summer is of course to read or attend a library program for 30 days. You get to set your own reading goal and decide what you want to read. And if there's a great program that you view or attend instead, you can also mark off a day for that. And remember, that for summer at your library, all reading counts. So set a goal that you think you can accomplish. We like to start with 20 minutes a day and get started picking out what you wanna read. And we don't just mean picking out a chapter book with a lot of words. Those might be your favorite thing to read, but we know lots of people also enjoy magazines, comics, or even the back of a cereal box. We also want you to remember that reading to someone or being read to absolutely counts as reading. So if you're sharing a picture book with a little brother, you both get to count a day of reading. And if you're listening to your favorite audiobook, make sure and mark off a day for that too. And finally, once you've logged all of those activities, learning, creating, exploring, and reading, it's time for the piece that everybody wants to know about, prizes. Well, this year, all kids and teens who complete the Summer at Your Library Challenge get a special edition library tote bag to show the world what they've accomplished.
and everyone who completes the Summer at Your Library Challenge, no matter how young or how old, is entered to win the grand prize drawings. This year we'll have winners from every branch and every age range, so you have lots of chances to win a gift card for a shopping spree to a store near you. Still want more this summer though? Well, you're in luck because we've also got performers, mysteries, activities, challenges to earn extra prizes, and lots more all summer long. We'll be kicking things off this summer with new recorded performers each week. Explore some magical cryptid capers, take a tour of the Museum of Curious Things, and even see a special author visit from Kelly Milner Halls. We'll put up a new video each week, which you'll be able to watch anytime or as many times as you like through the end of the summer. We'll also be doing two weekly live virtual events each week, one for school age kids and another just for early learners. So plan to have fun with the Zaniac, learn about science with OMSI, including a real life squid dissection, take a virtual visit of a wolf sanctuary and more. These programs will take place on Zoom and you'll need to register for them. You should be able to sign up starting a month ahead of each program though, so make sure to check our online calendar for all the dates and times. And Librantix is back this summer. If you gave it a try last year, you may have gotten creative and earned a prize or two, and we can't wait to see what you get up to this year. Will you tackle an everyday task in the fanciest way possible? Will you stage your own Kraken sighting in the bathtub? Or will you possibly give the most exciting news report ever about the time you found a slug on the porch? We'll have to see. And if all of that is great, but leaves you wanting more, well, you're still in luck. If you stop into your local library this summer, you'll find scavenger hunts and possibly a surprise activity or two. You can also pick up our 2022 field guide while you're there. Our Summer at Your Library website will also have links to some extra challenges to try and even a mystery for you to solve. Will you be able to figure out what cryptid has been lurking near one of our libraries this summer? Well, thank you for joining us to find out more about Summer at Your Library. You can find out about everything we've talked about on our Summer at Your Library webpage, fbrl.org slash summer dash reading. All of the information should be up and ready to go by the end of May, and we're excited to get started in June. We can't wait to see you and have lots of fun this summer.